Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. So, now, welcome to Rehash. There you go. Happiness. Thank you so much to Media Heads TV who provided our awesome intro. I liked it. I absolutely loved it. It was so unique. If you'd like to provide something with equal amount of personality, link in the description where you can do that for yourself. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family on how to get more for your money at GameStop. Cool. Yeah. I wanted to talk to uh, the Freedom Family, of course, that's you, uh, about how to... Uh, be awesome and have and provide showmanship and, right. and just all kinds of cool stuff that, magic. That, that we can't do. Tell us more about how to get more for your money at GameStop. Right. So apparently, if you go to Craigslist, okay, you can buy used Xbox 360 or PS3 for 70 US dollars. Now I know what you're thinking. How does this have anything to do? Yeah, exactly. Right. How does this have anything to do with GameStop? So you have what's called in-store credit. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're familiar, if you live in the United States or I think in the UK they have it, a uh, GameStop. You have what's called in-store credit where you can trade in gaming peripherals, whether it's a headset or a console or okay. a game. You get in-store credit towards other items. So you can go on Craigslist, buy a used console for 70 US dollars or cheaper, and go to GameStop and trade it in for 150 USD. Now that's tricky. Yeah. That is extremely tricky, but not nearly as tricky as what I'm about to, really? um, to okay. show you. Um, today I wanted to share with you this young girl who is providing a lot of uh, examples of like sleight of hand. She is like a master, a boss at doing this. Um, what did you think? It just blows me away because when I was like 10 or 11 years old, the least thing that was on, or the last thing that was on my mind was trying to, you know, perform a talent such as that. There's no way in a hundred years I could do that. Then I wanted to talk to you about showmanship, uh, more having to do with food. Like a dog coming to a door with pizza? That's oddly specific. Right. Image on the screen to see. You scare me. So a lot of people out there are very well aware that uh, Cold Stone Creamery is known for uh, mixing in flavors and, and all that stuff. Well, I have a video of somebody who asked for something very simple. Right. Just uh, one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Right. But of course, the person behind the counter could not stop there. They had to make a show of it because they didn't have any ingredients to mix in and all that stuff. Yeah, so he wanted to make it look good. Yeah, and I, I don't know, I, I, I really enjoyed this. I thought that it was a great way to uh, basically just be awesome. Like, um, you know, we always see like uh, like Shogun and restaurants like that, that, you know, are do this kind of thing. But it's awesome to see people who just do it because they love their job. Right, it blows me away because I have a hard time getting ice cream out of a container, let alone throwing it up in the air with one spoon and catching it with another and like throwing it behind me and doing all these spectacular moves. Yeah, I can barely get it in my mouth. Right, let alone without like, falling in your shirt and your shorts. Exactly. I, I understand. All right, now to the comments. A, B, C, this is an old joke. <laughs> First comment comes from Frost Scope from one of George's videos where he says, um, at one minute, seven seconds, seventh time I've appeared on Freedom Central channel videos. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, this is also the eighth time you've done that. Hey. Bravo! And you had some? Right, so coming from Arthur Butler, he says, my first time watching Rehash and I am addicted. So speaking of which, what is Speaking that? of addictions, we're yeah. about to help you feed that addiction. Um, we've begun plans on uh, on opening a channel just for rehash. Now, don't panic. We're not going anywhere yet. Um, but once we reach a certain goal on that channel, uh, we may be moving over to it. For the meantime, we'll be producing um, supplementary content over there, like bloopers and right, gag so, reels. Yeah, so if you guys want to see what happens behind the scenes, or you want to see what happens when we mess up, or just anything randomly, just go check out the channel. But we may not have a link right. yet, though. Right. So, but keep uh, keep an ear out for that uh, because. Uh, there are a lot of things that uh, that'll help solve. Uh, some people are very interested in this show, maybe not the others. So we're gonna, yeah, solve that problem. Um, keep your ear out for more details, folks. Um, and then I had another one. Last comment comes from the Aim Games, who is always giving awesome comments. Uh, he says that uh, he really liked the first Spider-Man. Uh, he's a little bit disappointed that the actor changed with the Amazing Spider-Man, and he basically adds to the discussion in a way that you know. We don't see that often. I right. love when people add to the discussion and really, you know, talk about things with us. So, uh, yeah. Now, I wanted to talk to you and you and you and you and you and you, of course. Yeah. Um, about our partner who introduced us today. Now, I, 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 again, 
Before you even dive into it, I was blown away. I, I, we love introductions like that. When you guys submit them, try to be very unique. Try to do crazy things. Not not hurt yourself or anything, of course, but do unique intros that nobody has seen before. And the great thing about the intro that he provided is we don't really have to say a lot about his channel for you to understand what, what it's about. Does, yeah. Um, but he is a DJ. Um, he also has done uh, gaming. He's done all kinds of really cool stuff. But lately, it's mostly the DJ stuff. He's doing scratch mixes. He's doing um, all kinds of live mix shows. Uh, link in the description if you'd like to check him out. So yeah, I think we've pretty much wrapped things up here. And till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.